so uh, this past week I went to the local herping spot and found two fences. So it looks like herping season is starting to start up again. So this is pretty exciting. So this video will be us going back to the site to find some more herps. Alright, All right, boys, we back. Jesus, there's a lot of scratches on the camera. There's a um, five, six inch northwestern fence lizard in this brush over here. Oh, I see him. You're a flash little boy, aren't you? You can see him there. Wanna try to make the catch? Oh, hi. <laughs> There's a different lizard. There's two. Look, look it up. Look at that boy. It's not. Because it doesn't got it. That guy's a black one though. Really deep. There, I was looking at a completely different one. Right there. Oh, oh, he's this, he's this little black boy. Oh crap, oh no, he's going away. So yeah, right now we're at these, uh, I, I don't know what type of rocks these are. They could be like andesite or uh, rhyolite. Uh, this is these outcrops So I've had a lot of luck finding. Oh, there's three? I, I think there's only two, but. Oh, he's slow, you can get him. Dude, are you kidding me? Uh, so yeah, we're at these uh, igneous rock outcrops. Yeah, we found a lot of northwestern fence lizards on these rocks here. I went here the past week. I found a five inch male and a little juvenile, probably hatched last fall. Yeah, during this time of year, they like to hang out on these um, large rocks uh, by shrubs so they can easily escape from predators. Black one, black one, right here, right there. Oh, oh, that's like a little guy. Wait, 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 hunter, hunter, wait. wait stop, stop. I gotta get, I got, oh my gosh. Shrubs, going in the shrubs. Okay, have eyes on them. That's gonna be hard. Yeah, also crevices too. They, they utilize crevices in the rough. Oh, he's fat. Maybe he ate something. The big males are the ones that you want to worry about bites for. Oh, there he's coming. Oh! So close. He went straight through my pinky toe. He's right here. <laughs> so oh, there you are. So we're at Skink Valley. We're looking for skills and skinks. Yeah, we've kind of had a lot of luck on this hillside. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of bandom crap here too. This, yeah, there's a lot of uh, skilton skinks that we find here in the spring. It might be too early for them. I'm not positive. I'm for sure. But uh, we're heading our way to a uh, long term salmon site. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, remember whenever you're flipping things to always put them back before you found them? That's very important to make sure microhabitats are kept. The way they were left. I'm gonna beat you up! I'm gonna give you a DUI. Man, man. Reservoir. Huge mining operation here. Gold. Silver, I think. It's huge. It's protected now, though. It's a wildlife preserve. Yeah, we're heading up to these, uh, this pond. Well, it's actually, I think, two ponds, but, oh, uh, we found a lot of long coast salamanders there. Maybe in time salamander eggs. Just by the temperature, it rained two times last week. So they probably already have migrated, at least the males, definitely. Um, yeah, it's up there. We made it to Jesus' piss bottle. As far as I'm concerned, there's no, there isn't a brooding population of salamander frogs here. Yeah. Yeah, well, Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay the Gordon. So, we've got this little guy under this log, uh, uh, I'll, I'll take some better footage of them later. But yeah, I'm gonna um, measure them, keep track of their patterns, so I can keep track of the local population here. There's, there's a bigger pond right there that's probably gonna have luck, more luck at least. So right here. So this is the uh, larger pond. It, it's permanent. The other ones are usually only season. Uh, I'm looking for things to flip, a good way to find uh, salamanders during breeding season, especially uh, long-toed salamanders, tiger salamanders in this area, is to flip debris that surrounds the shores line of the uh, breeding location. And that's uh, usually, you got a pretty good chance that you're gonna find yourself a salamander. Long-toed salamanders, let's talk about them. Uh, long-toed salamanders, Amastoma, 
macrodactylum. Uh, the subspecies here in eastern Washington is uh, the eastern long-toed salamander, Amstone macrodactylum columbianum. And uh, they are native to most of Washington, um, at least long-toed salamanders. Eastern long-toed salamanders in Washington are separated by long, uh, western long-toed salamanders, Amstone macro macrodactylum, macrodactylum. You can find them pretty much all over eastern Washington. Uh, the really only thing stopping them is the lack of breeding locations. Uh, they take refuge underneath uh, surface debris. They're usually not active, like surface active during the summer and dry months of the year, but they uh, are pretty easy to find during the uh, breeding season, which is in the early spring. The males start to come out and migrate. Once when the spring rains have come, uh, even migrating and breeding well, ice still covers the surface of the water. Uh, there's an interesting study, uh, I forgot who it was by, about the, uh, the how uh, different elevations affect breeding in long-toed salamanders. It, how it affects like sizes and stuff. I'll put a link to it probably. Uh, yeah. So we found that. Then we found this uh, large female long-toed salamander. Uh, it was just kind of funny because I was flipping this and it was upside down on it. It's like back was stuck to this. But yeah, I was in here. Take some pictures, take some measurements. The big, the small one I think is a male too. Um, you can tell by how swollen their cloaca is. Oh, uh, we found another one. We have them all lined up right here. We have this uh, large female, uh, five inches, a uh, 4.5 inch male, and a four inch male. So yeah, we found uh, we found the four inch male underneath this, and the rest were found underneath these rocks. So it's actually kind of funny. Uh, a week later, it snowed in the area I live in. The snow covered all of the mountains in the general area including the sites that we went herping so all of the salamanders uh, may or may not have died it depends on if they were able to find somewhere to, to hide before it froze uh, but yeah uh, that's kind of funny I guess